Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting because we are making TikTok viral summer drinks. Some of them are non-alcoholic, some of them are alcoholic, but they're all really summery, really fun, and I'm excited to try them. But before we get to all that, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button. Red button says subscribe, I'm gonna need you to hit it. We have a lot of fun here on my channel doing makeup, food, fashion, lifestyle, anything you could ever want. And if you enjoyed this particular video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. All of those things would really help me out and I really appreciate it. So, let's start making some drinks. Okay, so the first drink I wanna make is called Creamy Lemonade. Have you jumped on the Creamy Lemonade trend yet? It's really easy to make. All you gotta do is fill a pitcher about half full with some ice, slice some lemon and throw that in there too. And then you're gonna juice about five to six big, big lemons. Up next, you're gonna add some sweetened condensed milk, about a quarter of a cup. And then you're gonna add about a quarter of a cup of sugar. And then you're gonna fill your pitcher with water and give it a really good stir. It's so good, you guys. Let me know if you've tried it yet. The girl on the TikTok makes a whole um, pitcher full, but we're not gonna go that hard. We're just gonna do a glass and kind of guesstimate the um, measurements. So first we're gonna fill up the glass with ice. And then we're gonna cut some lemon slices to go in the drink. And then we're gonna juice the rest of that lemon and then two more lemons. Uh, I'm gonna juice into this bowl and then put it in the cup. I might only do two lemons because these are juicy. Alright, so that's the lemon juice in there and now we add some sweetened condensed milk, which seems weird, but I think that's what like makes it creamy. I don't think we wanna add too much though. Maybe like that much. Again, we're guesstimating, making a mess while we're doing it. All right, and now we add some normal sugar. Uh, we don't usually keep our sugar in a Ziploc bag like this, but I literally broke the sugar bowl before I made this video, so start it off well. Just gonna add some spoonfuls, maybe like three. And then she says to add some water and then mix it really well. I'm really trying to mix it well because I'm really not trying to run into some like chunks of sweetened condensed milk. So here it is. <laughs> it's just like a creamy yellow color. We ready to try it? I'm kind of scared. Ooh, sour. Not enough sugar in there. Ooh, I just drank lemon juice, straight lemon juice. I'm gonna add a little bit more sweetened condensed milk and a little bit more sugar. Try to sweeten it up a little bit. Woo! <laughs> See, I was worried it was gonna taste like sweetened condensed milk, but it literally tasted like lemon juice. Wow. I got a, I got a lemon seed, I got a chunk of sweet condensed milk, and I got grainy sugar. I did something wrong. Maybe more water? Theoretically, this looked really good, guys. In practice, I'm either getting sips of pure lemon juice 
or chunks of sweetened condensed milk with like grainy sugar in it. There's no in between. Okay, I think this was a fail. I can't get that to taste good. I don't know if my ratios were off or it's just bad, but it's not, I'm not enjoying it. I'm not having a good time with it and I think I need to put it down. <laughs> okay, hopefully the rest of the drinks will be more successful than that one. All right guys, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new light, and it's time for a new drink. So today, I think you guys are gonna be really excited about this one. We are going to be making DIY Baja Blast Mountain Dew. I'm not even like that big of a Baja Blast girly, but I know people love Baja Blast, and I saw this hack on TikTok. If you're in love with the Baja Blast from Taco Bell, I have a great life hack just for you. And the best part is you only need three ingredients and one minute of your time. First, add some ice to a cute cup, then fill it up halfway with some Sprite. Now we add some Powerade to fill up the cup about three quarters of the way. Top it off with some Mountain Dew and give it a mix until it has that beautiful signature Baja Blast color. And that's it, Baja Blast at home. On how to make your own Baja Blast, and I said, all right, bet we're trying it. So you only need three ingredients, which is Sprite, blue Powerade, and normal Mountain Dew. So if you have those laying around the house, you have yourself some Baja Blast. Okay, so they do halfway Sprite. All right, and then like one fourth of the glass of Powerade. And then the rest with Mountain Dew in order to get that like Baja Blast blue green. What do you guys think? I think that looks pretty Baja Blasty to me. Okay, that took so fast, it was so easy. So, moment of truth, is it Baja Blast? Wow, that's crazy. It is Baja Blast. Wow. Wow, that's a good hack. That was really good. If you are a Baja Blast fanatic, do they sell it in bottles? I don't know, but if they don't, you can make it yourself and this is actually really, really good. Granted, I don't have it that often, so I can't, I'm not a Baja Blast connoisseur, I can't tell if it's exactly the same, but to your average layman, it's Baja Blast. It really is. All right guys, we're back with drink number three and this one is called a mango nada. I've had a mango nada before, but I've never made one homemade. I'm gonna show you how to make a spike mango nada. I know some of y'all are confused like, damn, she be making drinks too. Yes, I'm a certified mixologist, was a bartender before COVID. But yes, this, I love mango nadas. I love chamo, I love tagine. You're gonna see that all over my page. Like, I will show you how to make drinks, how to eat good at home. Um, the TikTok, she puts uh, tequila in it, but it is 3 p.m. and I have things to do today, so we're gonna skip out on the tequila, but we have everything else here, and I'm excited to make it, so let's go. So first, we're gonna slice our mango. Do I know how to slice a mango? Not really. It's like one of the weirdest fruits to cut. So the mango nada like mixes the spicy like savoriness from the tajin and the chamoy, but with the sweetness of the mango. And so it's a really cool mix of flavors. And I like it a lot. I got it last summer, so I haven't had one since then, but I am excited. So I'm just gonna put the mango in the blender here to my left. We got mango falling everywhere. Oh no. Okay, and now we're gonna add ice and orange juice. <laughs> Got it. No measurements, just vibes. And then we're gonna blend it. We have gone too hard with the ice. It looks a little chunky. Put that to the side. Now we need to slice a lime for the rim. All right, and now we prep the glass with the lime. And this is Tajin seasoning that you stick your glass in to rim the glass. Yeah, look at that. 
It looks nice. And then we line the glass internally. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna pour it in. Ah! Okay, not to be dramatic, but that looks fine. amazing I have made a complete disaster out of this kitchen all right guys moment of truth mm-hmm that's really good it's such a good blend it's spicy and fruity I think I would put less ice in it because I do have some big chunks of ice so the texture is off a little bit but the flavor the flavor is there for sure drink of the summer a hundred percent and you're basically eating a whole mango Definitely would recommend doing this. You can get uh, Tajin and Chamoy from Food Lion. I don't know if you have Food Lion where you are, but if you look in the like international food section of your grocery store, they'll probably have it. I'm a big fan. Definitely my favorite we've made so far. The Baja Blast was good, but like this just has so many flavors in it. It's much better. It's like a whole meal. All right, guys, it is time for our final drink. And this one I'm very excited about. Um, I saw this on TikTok. Hi guys, we're back. So today we're gonna be filming a cantarito because a lot of people didn't know what it was. So here I am explaining it. So you take the cantarito and you rim it with our rim jib and then you add our own Mexi powder. I know it's an atahin thing, but that's our powder, trust me. <laughs> so you can rim the cup nicely and you squeeze half a lime into that cup and then you add about two scoops of the powder and then you're gonna add like equivalent to a shot of freshly squeezed orange juice and you're gonna add equivalent of a shot of freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. And I don't like grapefruit, but it works in here, trust. And you add about one and a half shots of tequila. Of course, you can add more, you know, if you like it stronger. <laughs> and then you add equivalent to like one whole squirt. And then you mix it up so you get all the flavors, super good. And then we're pouring it into the cantarito. And we also have ones with designs, like super cute ones, like Mexican themed ones. But I think it filmed that on video. And then you add an orange, you know. And then, of course, you gotta add the tamarindo straw. And look how refreshing that looks. Like, I want one right now. <laughs> I knew I had to try it. It looks so good. It looks so summery. It looks so refreshing and tasty. And I even ordered the dip they use at the beginning of the video to ram the glass just to make this the perfect drink. So let's get it started. Okay, so they start by prepping their glass and they start with their dip and it's called the drip dip. And I ordered it off their website. I got it within like a week, it was so fast. And I dip my finger in it a little bit cause I wanted to know what it tastes like. And it's kind of like a spicy, no, no. It's like a sour candy jelly, but with like spice in it. So it like has a kick to it. That's the best way I can describe it. I don't know if that's good enough. But that's all I can do for you. And then we're gonna dip it in the tajin again, like we did the last drink. So here we go. Nice and saturated. So this is what it's looking like. Already looks fantastic. So we're gonna put that to the side, close our dip back up. Okay, and now we're gonna stop making the drink. I'm gonna put some ice in this and then the rest of the contents. So they start out with half of a lime juiced. I don't think she was ready. <laughs> I'm putting a lot into this. A spoonful of tagine. I'm just gonna guess to make a spoonful. A shot of orange juice. A shot of grapefruit juice. A shot of tequila. And a bunch of squirt. What is squirt? It's a soda. It kind of tastes like fresca. And now we shake. <laughs> I 
has soda in it. <laughs> Can you not shake soda? I don't think so. <laughs> now we're gonna pour it in. Moment of truth. It looks beautiful. 360. <laughs> this is prettier than I am. Okay, moment of truth. That's nice. That's a nice summer drink. The rim dip. So good with it. It's fruity while also spicy, while also like, you know, tequila-y. So it has a nice balance to it. There's a lot of flavors happening. I mean, you could make it without the rim, without the rim dip, but it wouldn't be as fun. The rim, the the drip dip, it's absolutely delicious and would definitely recommend getting it. I think it was only like seven bucks or something like that. I think it would pair well with fish, like a fish taco. Yeah, that's my pairing. I would pair this with a fish taco. <laughs> Can't handle this right now. I'm a mess. All right guys, so those are my four Summer TikTok drinks. They were all, mm, not the first one. Most of them were really, really good, and I'm glad I tried them. So let's rank them. In last place is the creamy lemonade. The creamy lemonade was disappointing on many fronts. Texture, taste, everything. And we will never be trying it again. In third place, I'm gonna put the Baja Blast. The Baja Blast was good, but it wasn't anything like unique or special. We all know what Baja Blast tastes like. Um, it's good, but nothing to phone home about. Next, I'm gonna say this one because it is so unique. I've never drunk in anything like this. And the I like am gonna be obsessed with the dip because I've seen people put them on like Trulies and White Claws, like the rim of them. So I'm excited about the drip dip and I'm excited about this drink, definitely making it again. I think I'm gonna put the Mango Nada first. It was so good, it hit the spot so hard. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. Both of those things would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it. And that's all I have for you guys today. So stay on fleek, friends. Bye.